bloody all. Man, don't you hate it when you finish recording a part and then you bloody lose all the commentary for it? That's really irritating when that happens. But sadly, that's what's happened here. So I'm just kind of going to speed past the, block, the um, trainer fights. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the reason I'm doing this is just to make this next couple of parts a bit more bearable by trying to meld it all into one part. Because, I mean, seriously, there's trainer battles everywhere on this route, and I do kind of take advantage of them. Now, if you pop into this house, you can actually heal your Pokemon. You can actually just jump in their bed. They don't care. I mean, that's really cool of them. So you just jump in the bed, and you can heal your Pokemon. By falling asleep. How blissful. Right. Um... Like I say, there's a ton of trainers on this route. It's no problem. We can uh, we can take care of them. Should be able to take care of them with relative ease. Oh, don't want to miss that guy. Experience and all that. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass editing all these battles in sped up. <laughs>
Okay, moving on up. Well, I think I'm going to heal again first. You know, take advantage of it while it's there, you know. I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. Okay. Um, moving on up then. Anyway, there's lots of snow on this route. Um, plenty of points where you'll find yourself just you know slowing down because the snow's so deep and it's kind of irritating when that happens but hey ho and oh my god the snow's getting worse Okay, so moving on up. I I'm, I feel so sorry for my character. I mean, she, she's in really skimpy clothes. I mean, it's probably no problem for her, but you know, it must be freezing up there. I've estimated that only six minutes of the 20 minutes that this took me to record this is actually requires commentary so maybe it is a good idea to meld the next two parts together and make it a bit easier for myself. There are items hidden in the snow and good luck on finding them. Well actually I, I take that back they're not that hard to find. In fact there's one right there. Pick it up. It's an iron. 
And I believe there's a hidden item over here, but I didn't spot it just yet. Um, anyway, if you head up... Oh, it's not an item. Okay, I'll quickly grab that. TMO7 Hail. Yeah, whenever you enter battle in the in this particular area, you always automatically have to deal with hail, which deals damage on each turn, except if you're an ice type. Anyway, this idiot has dropped the HM move for rock climb, which we need. Um, it's only behind the house, so don't worry about it. But I didn't realise it. I don't know why I didn't notice it. Just literally sat right behind the house. Instead, I decided to get my uh, um item finder and think oh god of it's it's around here somewhere it's probably a hidden item why would i think it's a hidden item when it's something you need oh So, uh, yeah, um, a fair bit of me wandering around like an idiot trying to find this uh, HM because I need this hidden move in order to proceed through the game. And I, I really do dislike how you slow down when you're in deep snow. There's not much you can do about it. I mean, it's better than the mud that's outside Pistoria City because if the mud outside Pistoria City is annoying. Um, because uh, you get stuck in that and you have to wiggle the d-pad in order to get loose. At least here you don't have to do that. And like I say, there's literally a lot of just me traipsing around trying to find the HM rock climb. Which was literally right behind the house and for some stupid reason I didn't spot it because I'm blind and... Ugh! I am just kicking myself right now at how stupid I was in the past anyway another trainer battle of course they're everywhere
telling you, I, uh, while I was wandering around, I came across another hidden trainer. And with that being said, there's another trainer down. That's a hidden one as well, so I can't believe my luck in managing to come across this guy. Anyway, I'm still looking for the bloody rock climb because I'm stupid like that. When in reality, I just, I'm just, like I said, I'll kick, I'm kicking myself. It's right behind the, that hiker guy's house. But there is a hidden nugget up here. I suppose I could sell that and make some cash if I need to. I'm surprised you can breathe under that snow, given how deep it is. It's, it literally covers her face. Oh, man. I'm going to quickly head back and heal, because I have battled quite a few trainers. Um, don't expect me to make a habit of cutting out boss, you know, trainer fights. I generally like to keep them in where I can. It's just a... This, these next two parts would have been really tedious for me to record and for anyone to watch. Because it literally all it is is trainer battles. So I thought I'd try and make it a bit more bearable at least. Um, but yeah. Otherwise it would have just been really long and boring. Two whole parts of just nothing but battling trainers. It's... Yeah, not, not fun. <laughs> so, still have yet to find that HM. Bloody hell. Deep snow. Look, you can barely see her head bobbing along. Man, she must be freezing. Oh, that's no problem, it's no problem. Bad pun, bad pun. Oh, there's another house here. What's in this house? Okay, she gives you the spell tag for visiting her, but it's not something I'm going to use. But you go back in the house and she's gone. That's spooky. I don't know why I kept going back in there, though. I mean, yeah, she's gone. I probably went back in the house by accident the first time and then I realised she was gone. I was like, wait, what? Am I not... I'm not seeing things, am I? Anyway, up there is, um... What was it? A glacier... Ice glacier thing? Rock or something? If you have an Eevee and you just level up around that, that rock, it'll evolve into a Glaceon. So, something to bear in mind if you have an Eevee. 
checking for hidden items. But nonetheless, um, please, for the love of God, go back to that old hiker's house and pick up bloody rock climb. It's literally only behind his house. Ugh. Come on. Wait, I think I've battled this guy already, actually. There it is. There's rock climb. Literally only right behind his damn house and I went around like an idiot looking for it. Well, I wonder if he says anything if you pick it up and bring it back to him. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to teach it to somebody. Well, I'm going to teach it to, um... I'm going to teach it to, uh... To the HM slave, obviously. Because, you know, why waste, um... Why waste good moves, you know? So I'm gonna get rid of Rollout. Oh, I love having HM Buddy around. It just means I don't have to put all crappy moves on. Uh... It means I don't have to put crappy moves on uh, anyone else. So yeah, if you show him the uh, HM after you find it, he'll give you the icicle plate and he'll let you keep the HM. Double deal, if you ask me. Definitely well worth doing. The icicle plate can probably come in handy because it boosts ice type moves. And oh, there's another trainer already. Oh man, they're everywhere. Trainer battle's done. What about it, you, Mister?
Well, dress in more uh, light and snowy weather is not the brightest idea in the world. You could catch a cold. Right, nearly there. This route probably wouldn't have taken so long if I had not been such a dumbass and thought, oh god, where's rock climb? Where's rock climb? When it was right behind that guy's house because I just didn't fucking see it because I'm stupid like that. Yes, a Pokemon battle, please. Alright, we're pretty much nearly out of this route now. Hopefully the snow should die down. Here we go. We're now at Aquity Lake Front. Um, there is a slight difference between this version and Platinum. In Platinum you need rock climbs to scale a cliff to get to Lake Aquity. Here, the entrance is literally right there. There is no cliff. But it's been blocked off by uh, Team Galactic members. Look, so in, team, in Pokemon Platinum... It wasn't blocked off at all. It was on a cliff. But you can't use rock climb until you beat the gym leaders. So that's how they handled it there. Um, so, th you know, th th there are still still differences, you know. Well, it's not really a difference I consider important. Either way, you still have to battle the gym leader before you can get anywhere. Anyway, finally we're at Snowpoint City. Chat to this guy once you've beaten the Elite Four and he will take you to another island. Um, where the battle frontier and all that is. But, as of right now, he's just kind of just gonna, like, come back here later on when you're stronger. I don't want to go straight in the gym! We'll go in the gym afterwards. Snowpoint City is, is actually shaped like a snowflake. It's kind of interesting. There's nothing here and that's what makes us unique. No, that, the commentary isn't behind, it's just it, take, it took me a while to notice that comment. And I forgot to stop talking when I went into the Pokemon Center, but who cares. Um, let's have a quick look around. We'll go in the Pokemon and buy some shit first. And I'll cut that out because there's really no point in seeing me buy some more revives and, you know, hyper potions and shit like that. And selling off all my useless shit like the Nugget and the Stardust. Oh yeah, there's a Snowpoint Temple up north, but you can't go in there until you've beaten the Elite Four. Anyway, here you can trade um, a Medicham for a Haunter. And if you're going after um, Mesprit later on, fairly handy because Haunter can learn the move Mean Look. So it's, it's something to bear in mind. And let's put it this way, if you go to Mount Coronet, Medichams aren't that hard to find once you've got past the uh, rock climbing section. Okay. What a waste of time. Anyway, if you head north, and I'm only going to show this just very briefly because I'm not doing the after game. Here's the Snowpoint Temple. If you come here in the after game once you've beaten the Elite Four, you can catch yourself a, um, well... I believe you can encounter a Reggie Gigas, but I think you need the other three Reggies in order to encounter, you know, actually catch the thing. You won't be able to fight Reggie Gigas until you have Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. Um, but yeah, it's worth noting there's a legendary in there, but you can't get it yet. Anyway, hidden hyper potion up here. 
I just thought it was odd that there's these two little side areas. It just seems like the sort of place you would put a hidden item. Anyway, now let's go in the gym. Now, the gym is very slippy slidey. There's snowballs all around, and you've got to smash them in order to get to the gym leader. Um, I'm probably going to be including a few battles in this part. Um, but I won't actually be completing the gym in this part. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to be cutting past all the uh, Pokemon trainer battles in this part at the very least, but not in the next part. reason for that, you know, me cutting the trainer battles in this part but not in the next part is um, purely because um, it just makes things a little bit easier for me um, so that I can fit battles in without making the part too long. Anyway, I'll be seeing you guys next time in a minute. Um, next time I'll be taking on the gym leader of uh, Snowpoint City, which is Candice. And that should be interesting. So, yeah. Um, and I'll also won't be skipping past the trainer battles anymore. Sorry, but, you know. See you then.